In today's video, we are going to cover how to upload to multiple stock photography and stock videography sites at once. This topic came to us today from one of our subscribers who commented after our last video, so thank you. Hey guys, it's JD with JD and Kyle Shoot. We like to make videos about stock photography and stock video and just all the different topics surrounding that. If you like videos like that, please give us a quick like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. In today's video topic about uploading to multiple different sites all at the same time, you're focusing on working smarter and not harder. Everything that we do with stock, we are always trying to minimize the amount of time that we are spending so that when you do start to finally make profits, you are getting a higher dollar per hour earnings ratio. If you are currently uploading to multiple different kinds of stock photography or stock videography websites, this video is for you. We're gonna help you save so much time. We are planning on covering four different platforms today. If at any given point there is a particular platform that you guys would like us to deep dive into a little bit more, make sure to leave that down in the comments below. The first platform we are talking about today is Xpix. Xpix is an amazing, amazing FTP tool software that you can download to your computer. You can download it for free. It's really great for uploading images and video to multiple different stock photography and stock video platforms online. Xpix is an FTP client that is suited specifically for doing stock. So unlike some other FTP type clients like FileZilla or forget all the other ones these days, Xpix is specifically for stock. Xpix is great for helping you keyword all of your content, writing your titles, as well as all of your overall metadata for your content. In addition to actually writing all of your metadata directly in the Xpix software, it will then allow you to upload all of that content that you put into that software to all the different sites that you're currently submitting to. Once you are done uploading to all the different stock photography and stock video sites online, you then do have to go into the actual platforms and manually submit the images from there. In terms of any kind of negatives associated with using Xpix, it is an open source free software. So you can't really complain a lot because it's free, <laughs> but in terms of how well it works or doesn't work, I will say that if you are doing specifically just photos, it works really, really well, at least in our own experience. However, we did start noticing a couple of hiccups when we were trying to upload video using the software. We were finding because with video files, the video files are so large, it would hang up in the middle of an uploading process. So we would stick a bunch of videos in there, we would keyword everything, we would fill out all the metadata, but then once we started uploading it, it would take a really, really long time because the file sizes for video are just much, much larger than for photo. So when all the video content was starting to upload online, a lot of times our internet connection would kind of fizzle, go in and out. And if you have any kind of start and stop internet, or if you know your router isn't super perfect and it tends to kind of go out sometimes, then it can interrupt that upload cycle and we ended up having to actually re-upload things multiple times again. It was super, super frustrating to have to do that, which is what will bring me actually to our next platform that we're going to talk about and kind of our solution for, for uploading video to multiple sites. In terms of how to use Xpix as part of your workflow, for us personally, we like to use it mostly for the keywording aspect. <laughs> I wonder if that got caught on film. Oh. Some people may ask us why we choose to use Xpix for our keywording process rather than Lightroom. The primary reason for that is because Lightroom will actually alphabetize all of the keywords that you enter into the software for a certain image. The reason we don't particularly love that is because there are certain stock photography platforms that will prefer that you actually list your keywords in order of hierarchy and not alphabetical order. Specifically, Adobe Stock needs all of your keywords to actually be in the appropriate order of importance for the subject matter of the image. If you guys are wondering how to get Xpix, where to get it from, it is a free open source software. We are going to link to that in our description below. Moving on to platform number two, we have FileZilla. FileZilla we started using because we needed a good FTP service to be able to upload our video to multiple different companies at a time. FileZilla is a general FTP client software, which is not entirely dedicated specifically to stock, so we don't really use it for any kind of keywording, but when it comes to just reliability and uploading lots of video files 
two different online companies all at the same time, it works really, really well. FileZilla is particularly great if you guys are really looking for a reliable way to upload your images online to a lot of different companies. Anytime we are looking to upload our video files to all of our own personal profiles on Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, and Pond5, and all the other different companies we upload to, we are usually using FileZilla because it is the easiest and most reliable way for us to get all of our videos online. If you guys are wondering where you can get a copy of FileZilla. It is a free piece of software. We're going to link that down in the description below as well. The third company we are going to talk about is Blackbox. I'm sure at this point, a lot of you have heard about Blackbox. If you haven't, Google it. <laughs> I'm sure at this point, a lot of you have already heard about Blackbox. We have just gotten accepted into the platform. We haven't really started using it a lot just yet. For any of you who don't know what Blackbox is or you're unfamiliar with the platform, it is a company that once accepted into, you upload all of your video files online and it is specifically just video. But you upload all the video files online, you do your own keywording, your own metadata. There are options for you to find someone to do that for you if you would like to but it is a platform that will upload all of your video files for you and actually submit them to all the different platforms. Because Blackbox provides the service of actually uploading all of your content to all these different platforms and then also going through the effort of submitting it for you, they do take a 15% cut of all your future royalties. The reason we decided to get involved with Blackbox personally is because we noticed that every time we were uploading video online to all of our different platforms that we are currently submitting to, we realized that we were go we were just burning through our internet data. There came a point last year where we actually had to add on a lot of extra data because we were just burning through our data cap so quickly. When it comes to uploading a lot of photos versus uploading a lot of videos, videos are such, such bigger in size than pictures are. So in terms of how much bandwidth you use when you're actually uploading all of this content online, we realized that we were just burning through our data cap so much faster of a rate when we were trying to upload video to all the different platforms. If you guys have an amazing internet package and you don't have any kind of data caps, you've never hit your data caps before, and you don't mind going through the additional extra effort of just manually submitting all of your video files to all the different companies on your own, or maybe you're only currently submitting to one or two, then maybe Blackbox isn't for you. But if you are looking to grow and you're looking to get your stuff out there faster and not have to pay for that extra data that's required to get it out there, then definitely consider Blackbox. If you guys are wondering how to sign up with Blackbox or how to get started, we've included a link below. And finally, we have our platform number four, which is actually our favorite, favorite platform that we just got involved with recently. It is wirestock.io. We first found out about wirestock.io from one of our subscribers. Special, special thank you to that subscriber. We are, it's been life changing, honestly. It is another company that's similar to Blackbox. However, Blackbox only does video. They don't really have any solutions for photo. So Wirestock specifically is really, really great if you are a photographer, if you have a huge backlog of images, specifically commercial, most likely more so than, than editorial. But if you have a, a huge backlog of commercial work, Wirestock is a godsend. <laughs> One of the biggest differences between Wirestock and Blackbox, not only does Wirestock offer support for photo, and actually it's only photo, they don't do video, at least to my knowledge, not yet. But one of the things that Wirestock does that makes it so, so, so amazing is that they actually do all of your metadata and all of your tagging, all of your writing your keywords and your titles and all the descriptions, they write it all for you. They do also, just like Blackbox, take a 15% cut, but they, they do a lot for that 15%. So for example, for us specifically, we have a huge, huge backlog of images from the last 10 to 12 years. I have been a full-time wedding photographer for over 12 years now, so I have a huge backlog of all these different wedding photos to go through. Uh, and while we're not going to be posting images 
of our clients from their wedding days, because that would kind of be weird. <laughs> we are specifically looking for images that might have some kind of commercial value. So a lot of times there are portions of the wedding day when we are photographing, exchanging of the rings at the ceremony. It might be a really close up, tight shot of the hands. There are some elements of the day where we can actually pull photos that have some kind of commercial value to them. So how we are choosing to use wire stock in our business today is we are actually going back to previous backlogs of images and finding images that have some kind of commercial value, throwing them into wire stock, submitting, and then wire stock from there will keyword all of our images. They'll write all the titles and the descriptions. They submit it to all the different sites. And whenever they make a sale, it comes into our wire stock account. And then that's it. Super, super easy. In terms of any kind of negative aspects to wire stock, we are pretty new to the software, so we haven't really found very much just yet, but they do only focus in photo. So if you're wanting to also do video, they don't do that just yet. If you have a lot of editorial work to submit, for us personally, we are not submitting our editorial work through wire stock. The primary reason for that is because wire stock takes a 15% cut of anything that you submit through them. So with our commercial work, it's really great because they will do all the keywording, they do all the metadata for you. However, when it comes to your editorial work, they don't touch it. They'll submit it to all the different companies, but only once you actually write your own metadata. I don't know if this is something that they're planning to update in the future. I thought I heard the grapevine that they were working on some kind of a fix for this, I'm not sure. But as of right now, if you are trying to upload your editorial work, it might make more sense to upload that yourself through Xpix. But that's just our own personal opinion. That's kind of what we are doing right now. If you guys are wondering how to get on board with Wirestock, it is a brand new company. So we're actually gonna link to that below as well. We are planning on doing a more in-depth video on Wirestock as well, because it is so new. We are going to give our feedback on just kind of reviewing the software and what our experience has been like so far. If you guys are wanting to learn any more about the topics more in depth that we covered today, please leave that in the comments below and let us know how you guys are doing with the coronavirus right now. I know the whole world is going crazy and everyone is doing what they can to stay sane. So if you guys are struggling with that or if there's anything specific that you guys would like to like us to cover in terms of COVID-19 coronavirus, let us know as well. And we are, we want to hear from you guys. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Kyle is taking a shower right now. I can hear him through the wall. I'm so curious if that's going to carry or get on this somehow. I have a brain fart. Okay. So. Nah, 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 nah.